Welcome back guys, it's Vengeance Hero, and you're joining me for episode 2 of Alan Wake 2. And I have to apologize, I'm kind of jumping back in, in a bit of an unusual position. Um, from episode 1 to episode 2, uh, something didn't save. So there might be a little bit of overlap in gameplay here. Um... I went to start the game back up and it had kind of reset me a little bit. So I'm hoping I'm not too far back. Um, but in case there is some duplication, that's why. Your hunches, Anderson. Did something happen at the lake? I think Nightingale came up from that direction. From the lake. Probably looking for shelter. Safety. They were waiting for him. When you're ready, I'd love to hear what you put together so far. Sure. Sure. Uh, it's not that complicated. Nightingale was out in the woods alone at night, possibly nude. The killers knew he was here. They ambushed him, dragged him to the campgrounds, strapped him to the table, cut his heart out. But then they were interrupted by those witnesses, the bookers. The job is unfinished. And that seems pretty complicated to me. What was this guy doing? Which is ladle cauldron lake. Haven't figured that part out yet. Mm-hmm. Lots of questions. Lots of answers for us to find. I didn't know trees got that big. There's a piece of paper on the ground. Tracks. Barefoot. Nightingales? They come out from under the boulder. It makes no sense. A page full of text on one side. Not a printout. Written with a typewriter. Old school. Lines scratched out and edits added with a pen. Mm-hmm. Like a manuscript. A page of a story. Mm -hmm. The killer left a message. It's for us. The text is about us. The victim was one of their own. FBI Special Agent Robert Nightingale. And then there was the page they found. The first step down into terrifying depths. Reading, Reading the, words. the words. These words felt like a message. Oh my god. Someone knew they were here. Someone playing a game with them. An invitation. How could they not accept? Even if they knew it would end up hurting them. Alan! Boy, Alan! Someone's been watching us. Playing a sick game with us. You were right. We're writing a story in an alternate this is universe. Right my alley. Nightingale came this way. Either he dropped this page, or the killers left it for us. Uh, okay. Yes. I should profile Nightingale about this page. Oh, wow. Yes, okay. We found a page in the woods. A story about these events. What is Nightingale's role in this? I carry his words close to my chest now. Inside. The awful truth. He must dig it out. Something was put inside him. In his chest. I was just gonna say. I must find saying you gotta dig it out. So do we go back to Nightingale? This mug always cheers me up. Footprints emerging from the rock. Trail has gone cold. I think he came from the lake. But his tracks make no sense. Here? It is, okay. Found all I can here. Time to properly examine the body. See what I can find inside. Sweet. Casey, Casey. I, think I think something's been put inside Nightingale's body. Let's show the deputies to get the body to the town morgue. 
Okay. Oh, I see. Okay. We are going to head back that way, I suppose. Right? Yes? Maybe? Is that what we're doing, Casey? Whoever wrote that page made sure it read like a story. Like a scene from a thriller. I hate all of it. Yes. I said we'd find more. Creepy thriller, Alan Wake. But what's the purpose? They're twisting events to create their own narrative to do what? Entertain some fantasy? Projecting their desires? Are we characters or the audience? Witnesses to their design? All the above? Good fucking questions. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Just chilling over here in the corner? Bro. Too late. I'm already hooked. I need the next I'm chapter. also hooked. I hope you didn't get stuck in any of those big puddles. Crazy flooding down there, huh? Just like I said. De Deputy. I want the body taken back to town for a proper examination, ASAP. Well, sure, but the coroner won't be back in town for another week after Deerfest. Not a problem. I'll do it myself. Oh, and Sheriff called to say he's got the bookers at the Oh Dear Diner in town. Oh, and I've got a key to the gate. It's a shortcut back to the parking lot just up the hill. Okay. Thank you, thank you. Shortcut key. Thanks. Let's get the car. Drive to Bright Falls and talk to these witnesses, the bookers. At the diner, right? I, I could use a cup of coffee. Let's try that shortcut the deputy mentioned. Sounds good. Seems like a nice town so far. Murders aside. Pretty woods. Cute lodge we got set up in. We should go for a hike if we get a chance. We're hiking right now. Deputies aren't exactly up to the task, but hopefully the sheriff will be more helpful. Not a surprise about the deputies. Doubt they see much stuff this gruesome. I feel like Sheriff Breaker Breaker sounds familiar. Heart removed. Tripod. Tracks leading to a dead end. A tripod? <laughs> For a camera? To record a, a snuff film? Maybe. And why take out his heart just to throw it away? To stuff in something for us to find. Lead the way. No idea what way I'm going, but <clears throat> there's our car. Is that a car? Here no, we <laughs> we're not in a cop car. Let's drive back to town and meet the sheriff. We are feds for sure. All right, so let's head back to town. See what we can find out. Page out of my head. I've never seen killers reach out so directly before. Damn impressive work so far. With your technique, these hunches were moving fast. I wasn't sure about taking a case so far from home, but I'm thrilled to be here for this mystery. Yes, I'm sure you're gonna fucking love it. Absolutely the best case of all time. Oh, look at these fucking guys. Need to swing by the lodge to get anything from the field office? No, I'm all set. I'll park there anyway. I want to walk to the diner, get a feel for the town. I don't think that's even a parking spot. The diner's just up the waterfront. Shouldn't keep the sheriff and our witnesses waiting. I smell coffee. All right, let's go. Go to the diner. Hello. Oh, hello. Oh dear. Oh, hey. There's the sheriff. Yo. FBI. Welcome to Bright Falls. It's nice to have you here. I got you both some coffee. Oh, it's Washington's finest. Nice to meet you, Sheriff. This is the fucking dude from Quantum Break. You know, I wouldn't say no to another. 
Agent I'm Agent Saga Andersons. This is Agent Alex Casey. Tim Brinker. And let me just say, I'm happy you two are here. Frankly, we could use the help. Your deputies said you had a couple of witnesses here. They made them sound like suspects. Mulligan and Thornton are still on about that? No, no, the bookers don't strike me as the murdering type, but you can decide for yourselves. They're just inside having coffee and pie to calm their nerves. I'll see what they have to say. Casey, you compare notes with the sheriff. Take your time. Okay, this dude is... We've looked through the case files you sent over, Sheriff. Have you had many people besides the known victims go missing? Sure. But it's slowed down ever since Cauldron Lake was fenced off. Let me guess. Missing person cases spiked around 2010. The fence was built just after. Yeah, that's exactly right. Okay. That's when Alan disappears. Fair enough. Okay. You can go ahead, Anderson. We'll be here. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna... Bro, let me just think. Sheriff Breaker. Okay, so who's the quantum break guy then? Uh, I'm Googling this right now as we speak. Let's see if there's any sort of connection here. Uh, game centers on Jack Joy, Sean Ashmore. So the actor that plays Breaker is Sean Ashmore. Um, there's nothing there. That's how he... fits into the... Alan Wake picture. Oh my god, I'm sorry. I have the hiccups. Okay. Tim Breakers is Sheriff Bright Falls. Uh, filling in as Sheriff after his cousin Sarah Breaker left to join the FBI. Tim called agents Alex Casey and Saga Anderson after finding the body of missing former FBI agent Robert Nightingale in a string of murders, etc., etc. Uh, so Tim is the nephew of Frank Breaker and cousin to Sarah Breaker, who both uh, were, I guess, sheriffs of Bright Falls, kind of uh, sequentially. Crazy. Trying to avoid any sort of spoilers I might run into, so. Um, okay, so Sarah. Tim had recurring dreams about a man and had a police sketch made to be sent around. Sarah recognized the man from a case in Bright Falls, 1988. Eight, when a resident named Warland Door was struck by lightning near Cauldron Lake and vanished, Tim moved to Bright Falls to investigate further. Uh, somewhere after 2012, Frank died and Sarah left Bright Falls to join the FBI. Tim took over as sheriff. Okay. That's it. So he is a relative of Frank and Sarah Breaker. Can't believe that happened. So not really a relation to Quantum Break, but or probably not. Maybe not. I don't know. Excuse me. I'm Agent Saga Anderson. Is it the people? The That's us. I'm Tammy, and he's Ed. Hello, officer. Just Saga is fine, Ed. So, are we being charged with anything? Because if not, we'd love to get back to our hotel and decompress after what we saw. Take a bath, screw into pillows, that kind of thing. We're not, We're not charging you. I just have a few questions. Nothing to stress about, okay? So what, so what did you see in the woods? This naked dude came out of the lake and 
He was acting crazy, shouting weird shit at us. He must have been on something. Unless skinny dipping at dawn is a thing around here. Then we heard shooting. We ran into these psychos in deer masks. They were tearing into the naked guy with knives, like some kind of satanic cult. And then we bolted and called the cops. These people on a vacation? What makes you say it was a cult? <laughs> the masks and knives aren't enough. They were shouting, the cult of the tree, the cult of the tree, <laughs> this dude. the cult of the tree. The fuck? Oh, Eat your you fucking pie, man. The whole thing was terrifying. That's all. What the fuck did you find? What, what were you doing at Colgen late last mm. night? I'm a writer. True crime. We're here from New York, doing some research on a famous novelist, Alan Wake, who went missing here. I was down at the lake getting some details. Perfectly legal. All right, bitch. The cult of the tree. What are the bookers telling me? I found their necklace. The symbol is two triangles. The cult wants their spruce tree back, Tammy. Finder's keeper is Ed. My publisher will want this on the cover. Mm. Tammy found So something. profiling is the people and talking in the background. One of the cultists. The bookers were at Cauldron Lake. Why? This was built to hide what's there. They say the rider fell in the lake. Private party. No trespassing. My book has questions. Past the bolt cutters. They broke in for the sake of Tammy's book. Yeah, bolt cutters? Nothing to do with a murder. They were telling the truth. So, so you found something there, right? A necklace these cultists may have dropped. Okay. Wow. How did you put that together? It's evidence. You need to hand it over. I told you not to keep that thing to me. It's not how real people act, I don't think. Well, maybe. I don't know. Do me a favor. Stick around town for now in case we have any more questions. Rose? I even dream of missing dear Oh, God. Saga! Saga Anderson. As I live and breathe. Is Rose in Alan Wake? I thought we'd One? never see you back here after that awful awful thing happened to your baby girl pardon me how are you um i'm sorry who are you i don't know what you're talking about it's me silly rose you know me i don't think i do and what horrible thing happened to my baby girl she drowned your daughter that's so weird, you don't remember. How do you know I have a daughter? Oh, I know what this is. You're blocking out your traumatic memories. Happens on TV all the time. No. Uh. You're mistaking me for someone else. <laughs> if you say so. Uh. We talked to her daughter on the phone. Unless this whole thing is a fucking. Just all in our imagination. All set? My guys have Nightingale at the morgue if you're ready to go take a look. Yeah, let's go! Timmy! I got a lead. Looks like we're dealing with a cult. The cult of the tree. A murder cult. Have you heard of this cult of the tree, Sheriff? Only the urban legend. If you're in the woods at night, the cult will get you. That sort of thing. We're not gonna find out you're the Grand Wizard or something, are we? I played some D&D &D back in the day. Wizard was always my favorite class. Morning, Sheriff! Oh, shit! You have some guests. Tim with the D&D! &D. Uh, yeah, real important guests. D&D 
Deer fest. Always draws a crowd, right? <laughs> Too true. More the merrier. Have a good one, yeah. Sheriff. Hey, what do you know about that waitress from the diner? <laughs> Rose? Yeah, she's a bit of a space case. Always had been. Why? What'd she do now? She kept saying that my daughter drowned. She even knew my name. It was all very weird. Rose has a talent for saying the weirdest thing possible. But it's best not to take it personally. Hey, boss. Corpse is downstairs ready to go. Yep, in the morgue, all prepped. I'd like to take a closer look as soon as possible. Lead the way, Sheriff. Oh, this is the Bright Falls Sheriff Station. Anything you need, just uh, let us know. We, we appreciate the support, Sheriff. But you know, or just steal the shit. Oh, just slam through the fucking door. Okay. Agent? Yeah, I'm about to jack your shit. Have anything? You don't have it. As you know, the investigation the is the bus through the no goddamn door. Tourist, and it appears that I've lost in the woods. I, uh, if only had a tour guide. I'm being also, serious now. Bear oh my God! What is this? Oh no, a bear. Help! Oh my God! Did somebody call for a tour guide? Oh, wow. Koskala Brothers Adventure Tours. Unforgettable tour experiences. <laughs> this is at affordable crazy price. shit. That's right. I'm Ilmo Koskala Brothers. Best coffee roast. Ilmo. So we share a morgue with the funeral home next door. It's a shoestring budget. I guess you guys don't have that problem, though. Our only coroner rotates between a few other towns, and he's away this week. But you can handle this, right? I'm qualified to perform examinations. Yes. Something about morgues. They always cheer me up. I can't say I feel the same. He's, he's joking. Why the fuck is it so dark down here? That's what I want to know. Okay. Let's take a look at our patient. They still got the goddamn penis out. Before performing the internal examination. Bro, why is this on the ground? It's not supposed to be on the ground. What was, what was the cause of death? What other clues can the body give? The body shows signs of being submerged in water post-mortem. It, it doesn't add up. There's, There's writing on here. Writing on his fucking heart? Make it out. Writing? <laughs> How'd they manage that? This looks, this looks like text. A tattoo? Nightingale didn't strike me as a tattoo guy. Defensive wounds. They put up a fight. Uh huh. They did leave something inside his chest. It's time to see what Nightingale's body can tell us. wound is cause of death but the corpse is bloated waterlogged doesn't add up There's definitely something in his chest. Did the killers leave it there? Wait, 
We're dealing with an organized group of killers. Not alone. The cult of the tree is behind these murders. This case just became much more complicated. I'll need to start a new file. But it's my first cult case. Exciting. Wow, people dying. Fucking so exciting. I need to know more about the code of the tree if I'm going to shut them down. Okay, we got some shit now. Hmm. Slice this motherfucker open. She got her bare hands? Bro, what the fuck are you doing? Honestly. That is some nasty shit. You just grab it with your damn bare hands. And nobody says shit. The same type of page we found at Cauldron Lake. Nightingale Hunted Saga didn't see her. The Taken could not see into bright light. Light hurt them, made them vulnerable. Nightingale had no heart. Oh, this is sick. Killing. He's literally <laughs> writing the story in the background. Hey, hold on. We found these kinds of pages. I didn't think they were relevant to this case. I have them right here. Maybe. Didn't see her. Could not see into bright light. What the fuck, bro? He's coming. No weapon. The page said to get into the light. Try to stay in the light to avoid being detected by enemies. Safe havens will restore some of your health. If you leave or attack from a safe haven while in combat, it will become temporarily unavailable. Go. I don't. I don't know where I'm going. Oh fuck me! Not that way. Definitely not that way. Jesus Christ. What the fuck? 
All right, end of chapter. There it is. This is the end of this chapter. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. Please make sure to leave a like if you did. Let me know in the comment section and hit subscribe. Make sure your notifications are turned on so you don't miss out on any future episodes. And as always guys, I will look forward to seeing you in the next one. Call the sleepers from your peace